Guys, hello, Tony from the Outsider Channel here with you once again today, and we've got an epic one. Top of the world, Whistler Bike Park, one of the most popular rides in the world. You've seen hundreds of these videos. I'm not just bringing you another top of the world video. Turn the camera on, let's ride down. No, we're getting in deep this time, trail guide style. How do you ride top of the world? If you're visiting here, it's not just go in there, buy a ticket, and then take the Fitzsimmons lift up and then ride down. No, there's a gondola ride, there's uh, another, chairlift all the way to the top there's suspension bridges involved there's extra tickets you have to buy to get there yada 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 i'm excited this is a bucket list ride for me i never thought i'd be actually riding this one two years ago i would see videos of this and be like mind blown this is crazy you're going through microclimates it's such an experience we're riding top of the world and i'm taking you along on the journey from start to finish so without further ado let's get to the pre-ride What's up guys? We are at Whistler Village and waiting for Ryan and Corey inside. They're getting their demo bikes all situated right now. I'm gonna be on the giant rain today. I'm gonna to hit the enduro bike, see how that goes. Before top of the world, the first thing I'm gonna do for what feels good for me and I recommend for you is get a couple warm up laps in. Get the blood flowing a little bit. Also, when you're buying your ticket, you have to buy an extra ticket for top of the world. It's 22 bucks on top of your day ticket. So get that going, put it in your pocket. It's loaded up onto the card whenever you wanna head up. You're good to go. So finally, I'm gonna shut up. Let's get up there. Let's get to some laps. Thank you, Cal. All right, what's it today for you? And we're off. Part of A line. Warm up runs done. We've officially decided to go to the top of the world. There we go. You're leaving me hanging, dude. Look at oh. this. <laughs> it's right there. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Tickets are bought. We did find out the only way you can get up there is to do the gondola. So pack up an extra water, throw a tube in there, bring your multi-tool. The average downtime is about 35, 40 minutes. Here we go. I just literally asked how to, we're gonna load these bikes and then look. So we have to go bikes opposite directions. Three can fit. She said even four can fit. Let's see if I can get this right first time. We are on our way. Oh, that was so awkward. That was, Top of the world. That was more complicated than I thought it would be. With the you guys got it good. It's Mr. Uh, Vance was like just a second ago. I was like, I, I hope you yeah, did record actually, that's, that. Actually, that's perfect. Can, you did record all of that. And we're off. Got a little chilly up here. Yeah. All right, we're going to head down to the next cheer lift, which is not a gondola. So 
they recommend getting a jacket on. I think I'm gonna recommend putting one on. You see the snow up here, hasn't melted yet. Always feels good. Heat chair connector, we wanna go down there. Yeah, top of the world, let's do it. So you got a little bit of a ride in. I didn't know that. They get to the next chair. So we're taking Uno Moss down to the next chair. Let's do this, it. fellas. Is that me? Yeah, 68 is Uno. <laughs> this is the moment. I've been wanting to do this trail, to do this epic ride for years. I've been seeing it on videos. We are officially close to the suspension bridge at top of the world. Rivers flowing, epic views, epic dudes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So hyped. I'm getting a little a little emotional about this. <laughs> a little bit here, clamped. here we go. Yeah. So gondola to that lift. You got one more ride all the way up to the top. I think there's a suspension bridge there and then we'll catch up with you guys and we're on for an epic ride today. So stay tuned. Do this once you get off the second lift barrel left looks like we just take this road down a minute it's crazy how high we are yeah. that's it you're rolling in all right right off the bat Ryan's in. So I know you're thinking it, so I'm just gonna say it. There's an annoying rattle. I know, I apologize. It turns out that it was the chest harness piece, the little plastic piece was a little bit loose. It's only really in the uh, chunky sections that it's super annoying. And just keep in mind, it can always be more annoying than that. Let me show you what I mean. <laughs> I told you. Anyway, as we get down towards the bottom, it kind of just fades away and, you know, hope you stick around. Wow. Seeing this stuff in person is definitely humbling. Watching the vids and how fast dudes are going. I'm riding blind, obviously. I'm not going to be sending or know the trail, but there are some steep bits. Section one done. Let's do section two. Nice, dude. Nice. Fuck it, let's ride. I love those moments of realization when you're on them. Been waiting for this ride for years. So hyped to make it happen. Thanks for you guys for coming along. It's awesome to share with you guys. We're trying to give each other some space so we don't bunch up each other. A lot of this stuff, you need momentum, this rock stuff. So when you get bunched up behind someone, you lose that and you get stuck. You guys know. I got you. Trail bike. <laughs> I'm on the Enduro, you got the DH. Little advantages like that. <laughs> so anyway, we were just talking to Corey at the stop and uh, he was going fast and then slow, fast and slow. So 
Brian kind of told him like, go at a moderate pace. It's going to be easier on you and us. So we know the pace you're at. And he's like, oh, you want me to go fast? <laughs> and he kind of bit him in the ass. And now he's just like 500 miles ahead of us or something. He just took off, pedaled in, <laughs> lit a fire under him. Anyway, back to the ride. Section three, top of the world. It's a little windy up here. Beautiful. I feel like I'm in Tahoe right now. A little loose, rocky bits. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, look at that view. Riding blind top of the world. It doesn't approve. Just good times with the butts. Section five. Did I miss section four? Oh, look at that. This is fun. This trail doesn't let up. Like hands, arms, pedaling in some sections. You got steeps, you got flow, then right into rocky bits. I just want to jump in here really quick and give another shout out to Essential Cycles. Thanks, Jacqueline. This is an amazing bike, Giant Rain, Carbon 2019 Advanced. I had a blast on it. I don't have any complaints. It was super light. I felt in control of it the whole day. Last time I was there, I rented an Alloy DH bike, which is super squishy, but it was heavy and it felt kind of like a tank. This thing, I was able to throw it around, have an amazing day on the jumps, on the steeps, on the flows. Thanks again. Whoa. Moist ground over here. How is it so muddy over here? Like rains in certain sections on Whistler, not others, I think. Whoa! <laughs> I am not trained for muddy conditions. I'm so cow loosey goosey guy. Woo! Just coming into views. A little bit of everything on that, huh? That was crazy. Sampler. All right, and we're back. Right now, that's just part one. 
that's the official top of the world trail. We're not done with this ride yet. We're gonna take on Creekside. We're headed down Creekside, some of the longest flow trails in the world, some of the best flow trails I've ever ridden. Not some, the best. So get your brakes checked. You're in for a ride. Tune in next time where we take on Creekside. And thanks for sticking around. Like, subscribe. Thanks for letting me bring your mouth to life. I think it got all in there. I'll see you next vid.